Did the confinement and stress of the pandemic affect women's sexuality? What does psychology say about sexual fetishes? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, the confinement and stress of the pandemic may have affected women's sexuality in various ways. Stress, anxiety, and changes in daily routines can influence sexual desire and satisfaction. However, responses can vary from person to person. Psychology considers fetishes a normal part of sexual diversity. They are often related to childhood experiences and sexual arousal. As long as practiced safely and consensually, fetishes are not necessarily problematic. Alcohol and drug effects. Excessive alcohol consumption and certain drug use can affect sexual function in men, sometimes making it challenging to achieve orgasm. Love and sexual desire. Romantic love and sexual desire are two different aspects of a relationship. While love focuses on emotional connection, sexual desire involves physical attraction. Appreciation of beauty and art. Some women find it attractive when someone appreciates and values beauty in all its forms, whether in nature, art, or music. Brain orgasm. Mental and emotional stimulation can play a crucial role in the female orgasm. Emotional connection and mental excitement are important factors for many women. Multiple female orgasms. Some women experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This may result from increased sensitivity and the ability to maintain sexual desire after the first orgasm. Common practice. Despite associated stigmas, anal sex is a common sexual practice and can be enjoyed by many couples as an additional form of intimacy. Japanese sex culture, Japan has a unique sexual culture that includes practices such as kawaii, cute, and wabi-sabi, the beauty of imperfection. It is also known for its adult entertainment industry. Delayed ejaculation. Some men experience the opposite of premature ejaculation, known as delayed ejaculation, where it takes them a significantly longer time to reach orgasm during sexual activity. Sexual desire during pregnancy can vary from woman to woman. Some women experience an increase in desire due to hormonal changes, while others may feel less interested in sex. Different types of orgasm, some women report different types of orgasms, such as clitoral, vaginal, or G-spot orgasms. The orgasm experience can vary depending on the type and stimulation. Dry orgasm. Some men may experience dry orgasms, meaning they feel the sensation of an orgasm without the release of semen. This can occur due to medical conditions or practices like semen retention. Sexual education in Nordic countries, Nordic countries, such as Sweden and Denmark, have very open and comprehensive sexual education in schools. This translates to lower rates of teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. The effect of meditation, meditation, and mindful practices can enhance sexual life by reducing stress and increasing mind-body connection. These practices can help people be more present during sex and enjoy it more fully. The effects of pornography. Consuming pornography can impact a person's sexual life and expectations. Some find it to be a source of inspiration, while others may experience issues related to addiction. Eroticism has been a source of inspiration for artists throughout history. From cave paintings to Renaissance masterpieces, the human body and sexuality have been common themes in art. Evolution of pornography. Pornography has evolved significantly with the advent of the internet. 
it is now instantly accessible and offers a wide variety of content. Evolution of Contraceptives Throughout history, contraceptive methods have evolved from rudimentary practices to more advanced options like birth control pills and intrauterine devices. Fantasies and Role-Playing Anal sex is often incorporated into fantasies and role-playing. Exploring shared fantasies can enhance emotional connection between partners. Common Fetishes While fetishes vary widely, some are quite common. This includes attraction to feet, sexy lingerie, or BDSM, involving domination and submission. Sex phobia. Genophobia is the extreme fear or aversion to sex. It can be debilitating and is often related to past traumatic experiences. Sexual therapy and counseling can be helpful in overcoming this phobia. Generosity. Being generous and willing to help others can be a very attractive quality. History of condoms. Condoms have a long history dating back to ancient Egyptians who used linen wraps. Over the centuries, they have been developed and improved with various materials, including animal intestines and modern latex. Individual exploration. Before attempting anal sex with a partner, some people prefer to explore individually to understand their own limits and preferences. Influence of technology on sexuality. Technology has changed how people experience sexuality. Online connected applications and sexual toys are examples of how technology has integrated into modern sexual life. Role-playing games are a common way to explore sexual fantasies. Couples can take on roles and scenarios to unleash their creativity and enhance sexual arousal. Kegel, not just for women, Kegel exercises involving the contraction and relaxation of pelvic floor muscles are not exclusive to women. Men can also benefit from them to improve sexual health and control. Female masturbation. Masturbation is a common and healthy practice for both men and women. Although there has been stigma around female masturbation, it is an effective way to learn about one's body and experience pleasure. Multiple orgasms. Unlike men, many women can have multiple orgasms in a single sexual session without a refractory period. This means they can have several orgasms in succession without needing a break. Multiple orgasms. While more common in women, some men can train themselves to experience multiple orgasms without the traditional refractory period. Orgasm control. Some men practice orgasm control, also known as the edging method, which involves intentionally delaying orgasm to prolong sexual pleasure before allowing themselves to climax. Orgasmic dysfunction. About 10% to 15% of women may experience difficulties reaching orgasm, known as onorgasmia. This can be due to psychological, physical, or a combination of factors. Female orgasm and the clitoris. The clitoris is a highly sensitive organ that plays a central role in the female orgasm. Direct stimulation of the clitoris is key for many women to achieve orgasm. Orgasms and menopause. Some women experience an increase in the frequency and intensity of orgasms after menopause as hormonal changes can positively impact sexual function. PC muscle training. Pubococcygeus. PC muscle exercises can help some men improve their ability to control orgasm and experience more intense orgasms. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.